Hey everybody, today I'm going to recreate the look I wore in the Naturally Flawless face video. I will link that below if you missed it. So let's get to it. Now, if you have oily skin, you, I think you're really gonna like this Dermablend foundation because it is great for oily skin. Dry skin people like myself can wear it, but we need to moisturize first. And I am moisturizing all over with my usual Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream getting it in there. I've already put on like all my serums and eye cream and all that. This is the last step. It also works as a great primer for makeup. So this is the Smooth Liquid Camo. It's a medium coverage foundation. I have been using this a few days a week for the last month or so and I've learned a few things about using it. One is a little goes a long way so start with less than what you need because it will go cakey on you if you put on too much. I've also learned that this stuff doesn't budge. <laughs> it is great for sweaty days. It is great for rainy days. Haven't had too many sweaty days, which is unusual for this time of year, but it's been raining almost every day for the last month. And even though I've been misted on and rained on, my face makeup has not budged. I like doing one half of my face at a time with this because this Foundation does set. Um, so just to make sure I've got it all blended nicely, I like to do one half at a time. Now on to the under eye makeup. Um, this is different from the video. I'm just doing what I do every day. And first I lay down the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter. It's not really a highlighter in this case. It's in the shade Radiant Rose and these pink tones cancel out um, any shadows. And we'll pat that in real quickly. Then my favorite under eye concealer of the moment is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which is from the UK, but you can get it on Amazon. Don't we all love Amazon? Pat that guy in right on top. Now this foundation is billed as a medium coverage, but two things are going on here. One, my skin is behaving, so I have very few blemishes, and two, I'd say it's more of medium to full coverage. So um, there are a couple little spots I wanna cover, and I've been using and loving the Smooth Liquid Camo Concealer that goes along with the foundation. I didn't have this in the video that I filmed, but since they are from the same family, I thought it'd be nice to use them. And this has been the only concealer I've been using on my face ever since I got it. I really like it. I mentioned in a video last week, it's very similar to the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but it stays on even longer. Just doesn't have as many shade options. Now it stays for a good long while by itself, but it is recommended to set it with their setting powder. I used in the video just the clear version, the translucent no color powder. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this into the lid. Okay, a lot, I'm tapping a lot. And, uh, comes with this funky, fluffy thing. Now, I did it wrong in the last video and I've since learned how to put this on correctly. You're basically supposed to bake your face. So you pat this all over your face and you let it set for a couple minutes and then you brush it off. So here we go. I may have gone a little overboard I look like I've been attacked with flour. All right, I'm gonna cook or bake for a little bit and um, I'll come back in just a minute. Okay, let's brush it off. Any fluffy powder brush will do. I'm just making sure I get it all off. My face feels really smooth. All right, so that is that. Now let's get on to the rest of the face. Nothing really all that different from the last time I did a get ready with you, get ready with me video for you. We contour, I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. Do a quick contour with my sculpting powder from Kevin Aquan. Contour my jaw a little bit. And 
Then I blend it all in with my bronzer. The bronzer I did use was the Too Faced Soleil bronzer in the Milk Chocolate shade. It is the lightest bronzer, I believe, that Too Faced makes. And I just swirl that over the contour and along the edges of my face. And the powder is landing a little bit on my lips and I have to tell you, it tastes like chocolate, like sugary chocolate. And I'm sweeping it across my nose and cheeks because that's where the sun would hit my face if I were ever actually in the sun. I like to layer my highlighter under my blush. So first the highlighter, I'm pretty sure the highlighter I used in that video was the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This came with a set that I ordered. You can't buy this mini all by itself. Isn't it cute? So cute. Now for the blush. This is the EX1 blush. It looks like nothing interesting in the pot. The shade is Jet Set Glow. Um, I saw Nikki Tutorials using this. We are very similar in coloring, so I thought it's good for her, it's good for me. Forgot my blush brush. I'm just gonna use my highlighter brush. It's gonna give me a little more color because it's a little denser than I'd like. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, on camera, this looks slightly terrifying. I assure you in real life, it is not this. But I'm going to get my foundation brush and tone it down a little bit. Now let's move on to the eyes. Okay, so in the interest of time, I've already done my eyebrows. I did a whole video on that. I'll put it in the description box below. And I've primed my eyelids. And now let's get on to a palette that I cannot stop reaching for, a rediscovered favorite. It is the Butter London um, Natural Charm palette. There are two different palettes like this. This is the one that I prefer. The other one is a little more cooler tone, but also very, very pretty. So we are going to start with the crease color, which is this brown shade right here. Any fluffy brush will do. Today I'm using a Sephora Classic Crease Brush looking in the mirror just kind of stick the tip in and just follow the natural socket line don't worry if you've put down too much blending comes next let's blend this out to help with the blend I'm going to take a big fat blending brush and I'm going to dip into the brow bone kind of bone color here kind of blends and erases at the same time I'm going to go back in and add a little more color when we're all done. We are gonna lay down this lid color right here. It's the kind of, it's a very light beige shimmering color. I'm gonna put that all across the lid. Just to add a little dimension, I'm gonna layer that pinky shade right here. See, the there's very little difference between the two. Um, and I'm gonna layer that right in the middle of the lid just to brighten it up even more. Then on a 217, I'm gonna take the darker brown shade right there and I'm just gonna define the outer crease a little bit. Outer crease, outer corner. Just stamp it in, swirl, and shade it in. I'm also gonna take a pencil brush and use that original lighter brown shade and run it underneath my eye. To really highlight the inner corner, I'm gonna pull my highlighter back out and with that pencil brush, just run it in the eye area, in the inner eye along the tear duct, up into the inner socket line. Let's see if you can see it if I go this way. So I stick it in there. That's it for the eyeshadow. Then I just take a brown um, eyeliner. Today's is from Makeup Forever. It has a little sheen to it. And I just, I don't do anything fancy. I literally lay it sideways, sideways and just run it right along the lash line. All right, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and throw in my mascara and then we'll talk about the rest of the look. The last thing I used was an oldie but a goodie. This is my YSL Rouge Volupte in shade, oh dear, it's so old. It's either one or two and it's a very lightweight 
nude. Not my favorite color anymore, but this is what I had on. So when I, I bought this when I was going through my nude phase. So that is the final look. A couple things I want to mention. This is going to look different. It does look different from the look I did originally for a number of reasons. One, I have a hair on my lip. <laughs> One is because the lighting is a little bit different. I had a lot of natural light coming in, so it's just going to look different under different lighting. Secondly, I used a wider brush to lay down the crease color. So it's a little bit different, but this technique that I use, this is my go-to eye look. I do a medium matte brown shade in the crease. I do a light shimmery color all across the lid, and then I do a slightly darker um, brown in the outer corner. It's not always a matte. Many times it's actually a darker brown shimmer shade, and I always do a brow, like a brow bone color brow shade, skin color brow shade up here, and I always do a shimmery inner corner highlight. That's usually the highlighter powder that I use on my cheeks. So that's my go-to look. I'm just showing you using this specific palette. As always, thank you so much for watching. Everything that I use or talked about is listed in the description box, not on the blog, in the description box as well. And I thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. As many of you know, last week, Bobble Bar had a major sale, their stock up sale. You could save up to 30%. And I went a little bit crazy.